stage, Boots Knocking. Everybody. How y'all doing? Boots voice. Um, so I wrote this poem after getting into an insane argument on face crack. <laughs> about gender. Uh, do y'all remember a couple of years ago when, uh, the, oh God, I can't, it was, I think it, I was, some magazine came out and they had the little boy wearing fingernail polish and people lost their shit? Yeah, then I wrote this poem. I consider the boots. The way they mold to cap and step, the way they add a little extra swagger to my stride when I don the act. I tilt it so that it nearly covers my right eye, the glue. Carefully applied to my upper lip will hold hair cut from my own head. Maybe I'll wear a goatee today. It's sideburns. Yeah. The corset. The corset will confuse some, but I don't bend for them, so I don't give a shit. I mean, the way... If you are talking about me, if you are judging me, then your would-be bully tongues are lashing someone else's questioning thin skin, black and blue. There are those who care so much what this world thinks of them, they contort their spirits into people they will grow to hate. And I don't do that shit no more. I have grown in my defiance. Long gone are the days when my response to people who felt it was their job to point out that I don't look like a girl was to pull down my pants in their presence. Check! Make sure my pieces were still there. I mean, if you're going to tell me what I look like, try not to be a coward and stomp off when I report that my vagina is still intact because what I look like is only relevant to me. I am not your fucking Barbie doll. Chaps and a strap on. Sometimes all at the same time. And all that means is that I am different on different days because days are different on different days. And if you are of the small minded ilk who believes that clothing or fingernail polish makes the man or the whoa man, maybe you need to come visit my classroom. But sit your ass in the back and let the futures I push teach you what an open mind looks like and what mind your own damn business sounds like today. I am going to change the gender in all of my poems. I'm going to bend my poems because they belong to me. Like my insane sense of style. My dark, sometimes twisted sense of humor. Grateful that my parents had the foresight to know that this world would try to box me in, lock me down so they made my skin the key. So yeah, I'm wearing the goddamn boots. <laughs> but I will defraud my inner boy scout, put my strap on in my bag. I mean, I gotta be prepared. <laughs> Never know what I might need. I am going on a bender. Thank y'all so much. <laughs>